Do not worry, sister. All will soon be well. The great Kaiba has a new purpose for me. We have always known as such. <coughs> I will be relieved of my struggle and pain. At last, I will see mother and father once more. It is too soon, Nate. It can't be too late to turn back. Maybe find a cure or, or, or let you rest for a day more. Like so. We all know the ritual, the teachings. This is my time. I cannot work on the fields or in the village. My mortal body has no more use. Kaiba forgave me. <coughs> he chose for now to be the time. This sickness, this illness, I have fought. He makes my body weak, my breath hoarse. As a sign, you would know it would be against him to disregard this, would it not, Elder Layla? Your brother is right, my child. Kaiba, forgive me. We have arrived. Oh, great Kaiba, bear witness and be accepting of this great, loyal boy into your heaven. Grace him with your presence as he makes the final, solitary journey. Nath, you must now say your final goodbyes. Alexa. <coughs> my sister, my little wildflower. Together we had stayed strong, even when it appeared that we had nothing each other and now I must leave you but you shall not be alone sister know that I'll be happy by Kaiba's side looking down upon you I, I will by Kaiba I will I hope you will now be at peace brother Oh, you're suffering. Over at last. I will pray to Kaiba for your safe travel. Do you need to be reminded of the... No. <laughs> I remember my class as well. Our teachers made sure Kaiba's prayers were unforgettable. You have been faithful to the last, my boy. Praise Kaiba! Praise Kaiba. Goodbye, brother. Oh, Kaiba, holiest of beings, I come to you. <coughs> As a humble worshipper, hoping to ascend your heaven and bask in its me <coughs> I come to you now, arid with sickness, accepting of my fate, and I pray that my spirit is chosen to reside in your dominion. Kaiba, please keep my sister I leave behind safe, and please guide me to my family already with you. You. <coughs> I shall stand before you against the sacred tablet, as it was written, and give my mortal body to you. Oh, Kaiba, thank you. I am ready. Ah! Ah! Kaiba! My arms! Kaiba! I cannot... I cannot move! Help me! Oh, please!
Doctor? Doctor, what do you think? Ah! Honestly. Doctor? Wake up! Oh, it's you. Blimey, you know how to get the hearts going. Your hearts? What do you think I thought when I walked in to see this mess and found you unconscious? Uh, asleep, you mean? Oh, I was just doing some repairs. Yeah. Cleaning this, fiddling with that, keeping the old girl ship shape. I think I must have got bored and nodded off. In fairness, it's rare that I get a chance to get my 40 wings. And a chance to do some light reading, evidently. What's this? 1001 supernovas you must see before you die. Ah, yeah. Great read, that. Up there with Kalufid's Origins of the Universe. The pictures in here look extraordinary. They're all stars, aren't they? These supernovas. Mm-hmm. Stars at the moment of their death. Only the very largest, mind you. Billions of years of energy have built up, exploding outwards across a whole solar system. A spark so bright that the whole galaxy can see it. Have you seen all of them? All the supernovae? Well, that would take billions of years in and of itself. No, I mean all 1001. In the book? Oh, right. No, 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 no. I mean, this isn't even a good guide to them all. Some of them I've seen, but there's loads not in here. Which is to be expected, really. I mean, I picked it up at a market store during a time travel convention. Um, now, there's a funny story. Doctor? I... Ah. Now, that's very possibly not good. Honestly, Doctor, oh. is there ever a time we're not crash landing? We were in deep space. We shouldn't have landed anywhere in deep space. At least I hope we were in deep space. Well, let's just take a look around and we- uh, Oi, you, stay put. We don't know what's out there right now. It could be some poisonous atmosphere or the vacuum of space. Now let me just try and get the scanners working again, okay? Right, yes, of course. Although, I think I'll take a look anyway, if it's all the same to you. Right, and let's see what we've got here then. Oh no, that's odd. That's very, 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 very odd. The TARDIS seems to think we've landed nowhere. As in, on nothing. Not a planet or a moon. Not even an escape pod. According to the systems, we've essentially parked in space. That can't be right. Oh my goodness. But the environment checker says there's an atmosphere. An earthish one even. Decent levels of nitrogen and oxygen. I suppose this is what I get for sleeping on the job. Alright Nancy, you win. Let's go and do this old fashioned way. Nancy! It's so beautiful. I always wanted to visit the Alps one day. To feel like I was on top of the world. Right now I'm not sure how much of its beauty remains. Maybe I'll go to Switzerland, see the mountains there instead. Sorry, you must think it's mad. Being surrounded by wonders unimaginable and just thinking about home. I think it's very human. Do you miss it? Home? Yes. I suppose I still do somewhat. But of course, this whole adventure has been utterly amazing and I'm not asking to be dropped off or anything. I know. As much as you could see beyond and across the universe, nothing is ever quite the same as home. Even for you. So, we don't know what planet this is yet, only that it's safe to breathe. No conclusive TARDIS scans given the state of repairs, so all we've got to go on is a rather picturesque view, and some real proper snow. Ah, uh, you know what, I think we should do a bit more primary research, don't you? A quick tour of the village? See the sights, leave some footprints? Who said anything about quick? I've got some lovely coats in the TARDIS to keep us warm. Let's make a day of it. Come on.
Piper. I know you teach of working for your community, doing what is best for the many rather than the few. Please forgive me for my actions, but I have to seek a purpose elsewhere. Alexa, it's only me. Can I come in? Alexa, please, see sense. I cannot go on like this, Delph. Every day, I think things will get better, but... I know Nath has left a hole in your life. He was a good man, with a kind heart. But his passing has not left you alone, I promise you. I am still here for you. I, I know. And I thank you for all you have given me, Delph. You lifted me up when I fell. I held my hand when I couldn't see a way forward. But I can now. And I have to go. I have to leave Alphag. Lexa. Do not try to stop me. Please. Where will you go? What will you do? I, I don't know. But Kyber shall show me the way. I do not doubt it. I pray that I won't bring your wrath upon me for what I will do, Kaiba, but more so for Delph and the village. Let no one else suffer for my decisions. Please forgive me, Kaiba. I hope you forgive me too, Delph. Goodbye. me so. Kaiba will be closer to welcoming you in his heaven. He decrees us to work, so we shall work. Go, my brothers and sisters, lift up your spirits to him and do his work. Praise Kaiba! <clears throat> Delph, where have you been, boy? Why were you not at the service? Forgive me, Elder Layla. I've just returned from speaking with Lexa. She is not well. Ah, I was fearful of trouble when she didn't come to the service either. The women in the kitchens have told me as much. Her work is not what it was. Oh, Kyber, damn her. I knew I should have kept her under my watch. I should have done more for her. The blame is not yours. You do what is best for all of us. I feel ashamed to say I couldn't stop her actions. She has left her home, Elder Layla. She took her belongings with her. I think she's leaving for another village. She knows it is forbidden. Why would she risk Kyber's wrath? Her loss of Nath has affected her badly. I... I wish I could help her. I will round up some of the men into a search party. Do not speak of this to anyone else, Delph. Alphag cannot afford a story like this to deter people from their productivity. Oh, may Kyber have mercy on her soul. And mine for what must be done. Ah, oh, look at that. How quaint. That, oh. Mmm. Yeah. Someone's cooking. Roast beef, I, I, I think. They're humans. Could we be in the past? The 13th century, perhaps? This could be Earth, I suppose. No, I wouldn't be so sure. I mean, the mountain range doesn't add up to being a part of anywhere on Earth. And also, of a cursory look, the constellations aren't those from your galaxy either. Most likely, these are colonists from your distant future. So, humans spread out onto other planets and... devolve? 
Hey, devolve? Nancy, these people are surviving! They've ridden across billions of miles, crossing the depths and darkness of space to forge a new home here! Just look at them go! Oh, the human race, never content with not exploring the outermost reaches of the universe, it's a privilege to see. Doctor, I think we should be keeping our voices down. People are staring. Ah, uh, uh, yes, you're, you're probably right. Hello there! Oh, Doctor, you've scared them off. Yeah, I'm not the one going around saying they've devolved. Oh, but it is beautiful, Doctor. Like being in a snow globe or a postcard. I know it wasn't exactly the intended trip, but... Thank you. Uh, don't thank me yet. Looks like we're in for it now. You there! Stop! Okay, game plan. Be charming, and hope that they don't try and use those pointy sticks on us. And if they do? Ah, the usual. We run. Stay where you are, strangers! Who are you, and how did you get here? Hello, lovely to meet you. I'm the Doctor, this is Nancy. We were just saying what a beautiful village you've created for yourselves here. Yes, yes we were. Lovely valley, prime spot. I'll ask you again, Doctor and Nancy. How did you come to be in Althak? Where are you from? Tell us the truth, and Kyber may resist condemning you both to suffer his wrath. Who's Kyber? <gasps> Is he the man in charge? Governor, maybe? They cannot be from this village if they do not know of Kyber's teachings. They must be from one of the surrounding areas. Savages. Agreed, Tarfel. We are not savages. And I should know. I used to travel with one. Enough of your prattling. If you do not choose to hold your tongue, then I have no choice but to keep you imprisoned until you cooperate. Uh, but we've committed no crimes, have we, Miss? I am Layla, Elder of Alpha. Uh, Elder Layla. We're unarmed. We've not come here to plunder your hard work for our own ends. We're merely travellers, uh, explorers. Our ship crashed on the mountain. We saw your village and thought- You we... thought you could come here, crossing the boundary between villages against the code and spread your blasphemy against Kyber's will, defy his teachings and encourage those more easily influenced to join your ideology? No, of course not. I've heard enough. Take them to the Lockhouse Tarfel. As you command, Elder Layla. Oh, yeah. Really? No need to push. I thought you'd be objecting more to being thrown in prison. I'm reviewing the situation. Because we're on a planet that doesn't exist, except it does, and a band of humans are living on its surface. And then there's this... Kyber. Yes, they seemed rather angry when I asked who he was. Obviously he's not just their leader. Agreed. Especially since Layla is the Elder. The way they used his name... It's more like he's their god. Hmm. God? Or alternative? Very interesting. Are there many new religions in the future? It's not just Christianity, Judaism and the like? No. Well, yes, but also no. I mean, as far as I'm aware, there's no god called Kyber that humans have worshipped. Maybe the TARDIS would have a record? I don't know. Not really an option right now. Enough talk, you two! In you go! Do you bring these trials to Alphag to test us? I seek your guidance, my lord. Enough gawping, all of you! Are these scenes more important than your work for Kyber? Than your work for Alphag? Go! That is no way to treat a lady. Uh -huh. Doctor, are you alright? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, you're bleeding. Let me see. Tis but a scratch. Honestly, they're treating us no better than the deserters in the trenches. What right do they have? Oh, I'm sure it could have been worse. Far worse. We're in a prison cell, in a village that hates us. Oh, and we're on a planet that apparently doesn't exist. In other words, free shelter and protection from people who hate us. Plus, a place to theorise where we're in peace. Away from prying eyes. Or ears, as it were. Almost sounds like you wanted to be captured. Oh, just very experienced in the matter. So what do you need me to do? Right, one second, let me see. Yeah. Ah, there we are. Short for every occasion, here you go. I need you to make a note of all the natural features we've seen so far and that you can see out the window. 
And I'm going to have a flick through my supernova book. Now, where's that pencil? Delph, do you bring news? Apologies, Elder Layla. I come from the other side of the village, where I saw the smoke signal. It comes from just up that path there. One of the guards has found Lexa. Kaiba brings fortune down upon us. She... she won't be punished for this, will she? I am undecided. My mood sways with every test Kaiba sends. Two strangers descended down upon our village earlier, I suspect from another village. They do not even possess any knowledge about Kaiba or his teachings. Strangers? They must be savages, surely? I am not so sure. I hope to find out from their own tongues, or at the very least have them accept his existence. Elder Layla, I bring you your runaway. Krith! You brute! May Kyber throw you into the deepest pit in hell for your sins, stupid girl. That is enough, Krith. Get up, Lexa. Are you hurt, Lexa? Do not fuss over me. My dear child. Why? Why run from your duty? Your oath to Kaiba. I... I'm sorry, Layla. I just... Couldn't. I couldn't remain here, undertaking the same routine every day, as if my brother were not gone. I cannot bear it. Your faith in Kaiba is being tested. Child... Nath is with him now, the greatest honour that he can bestow. You should be grateful for his acceptance. I am sorry, Lexa, but for the sake of Alphag and its people, I cannot let your actions go unpunished. What? Elder Layla, you say I can only hope Kaiba has mercy on you and that the people of our village show that same mercy on you. Krith, take her to the lockhouse. We Pleasure, Elder Layla. No. Layla, please. You cannot punish her. She merely made a mistake. Please, Elder Layla. I will pray for her. She must learn that her faith in Kaiba must be absolute, no matter what. Now, off to the town hall, Delph. You are already behind on your duties, and Kaiba would not wish you to be detained for any longer. Go like that, and then... Oh, and that's the Raga constellation. Doctor, what are you doing? Hmm? Oh, just an astro navigation. That's the navigation of one's location using the stars. Yeah, exactly. It's normally quite a rudimentary method, originally used by sailors in the night to find out what part of the sea they drifted to. But once you explore beyond your own planet, you start to use the position of the stars to find out where you are in relation to where the galaxy is. Impressive. So essentially you can use the night sky to try to work out what planet we're on. Precisely. Only... <sighs> of course, there's an only. What's the problem? Even the position of the stars is a bit disconcerting. I'm not sure at all which planet has a night sky that shows some of the constellations the way we can see them now. <sighs> oh well, perhaps I'm just a bit rusty. I'm worried, Nancy. It was all fun and games at first, but the more I dig deeper, the more questions I seem to uncover. Something just doesn't feel right. Sounds a bit silly when I put it like that, doesn't it? It almost certainly doesn't. It sounds... human. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure whatever the answers are, we can deal with them. We always do. Ever the optimist? Thanks, Nancy. Get in. Oh, what do you think you're doing? This is an outrage. You're willing to throw a young woman in here who needs warmth and care. Look how much she's shaking. She could get hypothermia. You dare address a disciple of Kyber in such a way? You're lucky Layla is the elder and not me. Imprisonment would be a relief from the punishments I would inflict upon you in his name. 
There you go, take my coat. Keep that on you for now. It'll help keep you warm. Doctor, help me break up some of the hay. Right you are, nurse. It's okay. We won't hurt you. What's your name? I I'm Lexa. Who are you two? I'm Nancy. That's the doctor. Doctor who? You know, I'm often asking that same question. Here you go, sit here. Catch your breath for a mo. You've got a nasty knock on the head from that big bruiser. Let's just make sure you're okay. What did they throw you in here for, anyway? It is Elton Layla's doing. I, I wanted to get away. Oh, Kaiba, forgive me. All the villagers will think me a blasphemer. Just for wanting to leave. Strange. You get arrested for wanting to leave this village, and we get arrested for wanting to visit it. Wait. Are you... Are you travellers? From one of the other villages? How did you leave without being caught? Um, We're from a long way away, Lexa. A bit further than the next village. Now tell me, why is everyone so against you leaving? You don't know. Does your village not impose the same rules about travelling? Like I said, a bit further away than the next village. Is it to do with Kaiba? We've heard their name mentioned a lot now. He's your god, isn't he? We worship him and his teachings, yes. Kaiba demands we all provide and help our community, from when we're children right until our death. But... But you didn't want to stay. I couldn't. Nath, my brother, was taken by Kaiba not three weeks ago. A sickness took hold of him. Oh, I'm so sorry, Lexa. I know how you... That must have been so hard for you. Everybody tells me that I should be glad. Grateful that my brother has become an angel of Kaiba. But he was my world. It is hard to keep it spinning now that he is no longer a part of it. Delph tries its best to make me happy, but my faith has never felt this tested. It made me want to run, to leave all this behind. So I ran up our closest mountain and hoped that it would lead me to something new. Some comfort. You know, I've climbed up that mountain before. As a, as a child with my father. I remember how beautiful it was. Seeing the mountain range go on for miles and miles until the land disappeared into the sea. Ever since I've wanted to climb every single one. Perhaps this is my chance, my calling. After my own hearts you are. Seeking the thrill of the unknown and exploring lands you couldn't imagine. Seeing and experiencing things you never thought possible. You're not alone in yearning for that. I just don't understand. Why would the villagers hate the idea of just one person leaving? Blind faith? I don't know, sometimes following a coda to the letter can do more harm than good. It is the legends. Tales passed down of people from one village looting the crops and livestock of another. The scripture says that an elder received a message from Kaiba himself. A decree to forbid people from moving to a different village. Lexa, I need to know more about Kaiba. Now all religions have an origin story, a tale about how life came to be, so maybe we should start with that. Could you tell me it? Well, Doctor, have a look at this. It must have been embedded in the hay until we dug it out. It seems to be some sort of bone. Though not human, it would seem. Let's have a goosey. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, full marks to you, Miss Foster. In fact, yeah, I think it might be from some sort of rat. Ugh, I had enough of them in the trenches. Rats? Do you mean the rodents? There was an infestation a few months ago, particularly in the kitchens. Was? Well, they slowly... 
disappeared. Layla told us all it was Kyber's will that they were sent away. I wanted to find out why, to be sure of the reason. But then my brother became ill. Many became ill. It's clean. The bone, I mean. It's not just the flesh that's rotted off. It's almost like it was completely sliced off. Surgically, even. You think someone did this intentionally? Curiouser and curiouser. Well, first things first, let's deal with one mystery at a time. You were going to tell us about your religion, Lexa. Of course. It is a shame we are locked in here. A mural sits in our chapel, a depiction of the story. We all learn from it. I would show you if I could. Oh, that's not a problem. Um, hang on. You could have let us out all this time. Why didn't you? I told you, I like having somewhere to think in peace. This was a free room. Now, there only seems to be one guard at the far entrance. Controlling the circumference, it seems. So, we might just have a good enough window to get out if we make a dash for it. Let's go. Come on, Lexa. Oh, Kyber. that wall, quick. Just in time by the looks of it. Lexa, which one's the chapel? We are close. Look to the right and you should see its dome. I see it. That's a funny sort of building. It's the only one here made of metal. Can you make the writing out on it too, Doctor? Alpha 9. Oh, oh, oh of course. Oh, don't you see it? There's a reason it looks so strange. Surely you see it. What is it? Never mind that right now. Is there a guard posted outside? Um... Ah. Yes. Just the one stood outside the door. Don't know about inside it. Do not worry about inside. Apart from sermons and important meetings, only Elder Layla is allowed in. Let me have a look. It might be someone I know, who maybe I could talk to. Let me see. Oh, thank Kyber. It is Delph. He's my... my friend. And probably the best chance we have of getting inside. Maybe Kyber really is looking down on us. Hmm. Well, it might make him a bit more lenient on you, Lexa, but me and Nancy less so. Let me see. Perhaps some further persuasion would see us through. Psychic paper. Again, couldn't we have used that when we first got here? If you remember, I didn't get much of a chance. They had pointy sticks. Now, Lexa, why don't you go first, smooth things over with Delph. We'll follow your lead. Pray to Kyber for me. Lexa? I was so worried. Thank Kyber that you've been released from the lockhouse. Well, as it happens... Lexa... Look, Delph, listen to me. I was in a cell with the- Two strangers from another village? Lexa! You know people are not permitted to travel between villages. Perhaps I must put my personal feelings aside in all this and report you to Elder Layla. Can you see it yet? What the building really is? No, I don't think- Wait a moment. When you look at it sideways, it's like- Some sort of aircraft. Close enough. It's a spaceship. A very, very old spaceship. So old it's been lost into the ground in the snow. The village must have been here for centuries at least. But if they possess technology like that, then why not use it? Why the spears and wooden huts? I don't know, the primal instincts of survival slowly eroding away the knowledge across generations? I don't know, it can't be as simple as that. Maybe there was an external influence. That writing on the side. Alpha 9. Perhaps they named the town after it. Of course, Chinese Whispers. You're bang on the money today, Miss Foster. Chinese Whispers? What's that? Oh, it's this great game, right? People pass a message through a group and it distorts along the way from person to person. Same could have been the case here, but on a much bigger scale from generation to generation. I mean, I've seen it happen before. The Tribe of the Sever Team, Paradise Towers, and even before your time it's happened with Legends and Tales of Old. David and Goliath, 
Toss in the hair. I was there for that one. And in this case... The teachings of Kaiba. Presumably so. I'd guess that Kaiba was just one of the original colonists who assumed command. Well, at least that's one mystery solved. I mean, it would make sense that you didn't know about the teachings of Kaiba if it's a rather obscure religion. Possibly. You don't sound so sure. Religions are a tricky business. Even if you seem to have all the answers. It's best we don't tell them what we think for now. Ah, Lex is back. But why not, Doctor? Don't they have a right to know the truth? They also have the right to believe the tales of their choice without us coming and correcting them. And besides, we need to tread as delicately as possible and stay on their good side. Delph seems to be coming round. I think he will let us in. Good job, Lexa. It took some convincing. He would usually jump at the chance to do anything I asked of him. I suppose my recent actions have thrown all that into doubt. <sighs> Quick, we must not delay. So you're the two strangers Layla found. You've certainly intrigued Lexa in your ways. Or perhaps bewitched. Believe me, my friend and I have done nothing unjust or sinful, and we are here for good reason. Look. By the grace of Kaiba. Forgive me. I, I did not know you were held in such high esteem. Prophets of Kaiba himself. But if you really are his prophets... Why would you not tell our elder? She would be honoured to- We wanted to observe. To investigate how the humble village of Alphag goes about its duties. Yes, exactly. Which is why we need to examine your chapel. Make sure everything's in order, as it were. Oh. Well, no one is usually permitted to enter the chapel out of services apart from Layla. Unless there's a- uh, Are we not prophets of Kaiba? Well- Does that not mean, then, that we can go wherever we please? I am sure an exception can be made for Kaiba's prophets. Praise Kaiba. Praise Kaiba. Good man. Oh, and one more thing. Could you make sure we're not disturbed? Or at least give us plenty of notice if Elder Layla heads this way. Much obliged. Come on, you two. Not often you get to see a church in a spaceship. Come to think of it, I wonder why. Is it just me, or did you enjoy playing God a bit too much out there, Doctor? It got us in. That's the important thing. Look! Electric lights! There wasn't any in the village that I could see. Kaiba graces his chapel with such miracles. Yes, well, that's one theory. More likely they're in the fabric of the ship, which means there must still be power. Interesting. So, where's this mural then? This way, Doctor. Goodness. That's an incredible piece of craftsmanship. You'll be giving Michelangelo a run for his money. Who made this? The people of Alphag. Generations ago. When we were children, we were taught that they wanted the story of how Kaiba created life on this planet available for all. It's beautiful. Although... Why not just write it down? Words fade in time. Pictures prevail. Although I could do with a more learned interpretation. Do you mind talking us through it, Alexa? Of course, Doctor. Kaiba, forgive me if I am out of practice with the exact details. But I shall try. Perfect. Come on, Nancy, take a pew. You will see, in the first depiction, that our world began a barren landscape. A jagged rock with harsh winters, much to Kaiba's dismay. He wanted to create something new, something incredible. He chose to create life. He and his angels composed our form and all the cattle that they would need to help us survive. He churned the planet's surface, turning rock to soil and snow to springs of water. Once that was done, once he knew the planet was viable for life to prosper, 
He allowed just that. With a great burst of life, humanity was formed. Is everything all right, Doctor? Oh, don't mind me. Just taking a look at this interesting fixture. Keep talking. I'm great at multitasking, don't you worry. Carry on, Lexa. It's all very interesting, really. Very well. Kyber created life. But in time, he realised that, if left to their own devices, the humans would abuse the land he gifted them. They created weapons, divided into groups, and as winters began to last longer and longer, the white snow was covered with blood. The savages. That's why we were mistaken for them. Kyber knew that, for humanity to reach its potential, it would require his guidance. So, he sent angels from heaven down to our planet. They were in our image, but shined like the very stars themselves. They brought about order and decorum to our lives, establishing the villages like this one. They brought an eternal winter, the wind and snow making us grateful for the warmth and goodness in our lives that he provides. In time, his teachings were formed, as were his guidelines to live a fruitful life in service to our homes. If we do as such, we will be met by Kyber in heaven, ascending to become one of his angels. Thank you, Lexi. That was really helpful. Mm. Oh, uh, yes, uh, thank you, Lexa. It certainly... Give me food for thought. What are you up to anyway? Hold on. Is that a door in the roof? There is another circular shape like that at the other end of the chapel. Okay. Let's look at the facts. We came to the conclusion that this is a spaceship. And we both saw the windows outside the building, which means we can presume that this roof is actually the front of the vessel. So... Up there must be a cockpit, or whatever it's called on a spaceship. Which means the original settlers parked facing upwards, ready to take off again. Or crash landed. I should really update my sonic to deal with rust. What do you mean by spaceship? I don't understand. Ah, um... Oh, how can I put this? Remember how earlier I talked about people travelling among the stars? Well, the blackness between those stars is called space. And it's my belief that this building is the top of a ship designed to travel in that space, buried deep by thousands of years of ground. But... but... but what you suggest is blasphemous! So much for letting people believe the tale they choose, Doctor. Look, I know it doesn't seem likely, but I swear it's the truth. Space travel, other planets... I never believed in them either till I met the Doctor. If you don't believe me, Lexa, how about a wager? If I can't get this open and show you that there's a console room within, you can rat us both out to Layla. Do I not get a say in this? If I succeed, well, then I'd have saved our skins. Because I've got no problem in people believing what they want to, as long as they don't ignore irrefutable evidence. Agreed. <sighs> right then. Budge up then, Doctor. Oh, someone's keen to lend a hand now. Well, I'm not just going to sit around while you put my freedom on the line, am I? Valid point. Oh, oh! It's turning! I can feel it loosening too! Holy, I'm not cool. Prophet, it is Layla. She comes this way. You must flee, Lexa. I will stall her as much as I can. Oh, Kyber, forgive me. It seems that this door, which may or may not exist, is our only hope. It's too slow, Doctor. It won't open in time. Elder Layla, I, I hope all is well. How, how is Lexa? Has she yet repented to Kaiba? I am unsure, Delph. I have not had an audience with her or the strangers yet, and currently have no desire to. Kyber has delivered us a tiresome day. I must seek his guidance, if you will excuse me. Just a moment. What is it, boy? 
I have no time for this. I... I must make my objections to your actions clear. What? You should probably go first, Lexa. Here, yeah, we'll probably up. If you say so. Come on, I'll see you next. I... I just believe that your decision to send Lexa to the lockhouse was unjust. She does not deserve... Enough! Y yes, Elder Layla. through these trying times. I fear the people of Alphac are slowly slipping away from your teachings, diverging their thoughts from their duties. Am I mistaken in my actions? I believe that by showing no room for understanding with Lexa, I could use her as an example to others. Show how those who deviate from the proper path will be outed as sinners. But, Kaiba? I confess, I am conflicted. I have doubt in my actions, in how I treated Lexa, even though I must not show weakness. The winters are getting colder. Do you punish us so fiercely for the wandering minds of a few? Is there a way we can root out these sinners and prosper once again? from Kaiba himself, heading towards the depiction of death. Kaiba, I have received your sign. I will do as you decree and silence the sinners. She's gone. Trust you to leave your dirty footprints all over the floor, Doctor. Thanks to you, she's got it in her head that Kyber's left a sign ordering us to be executed. Yeah. Not keen on the whole silencing the sinners bit, I'll be honest. What's this depiction of death she mentioned, Lexa? It's a small part of the mural where they drew Kyber's chamber. A cave. When it's your time, one enters the cave and arrives at the chamber of Kyber and stands at the resting place before the sacred tablet for him to take your body and soul to heaven. I see. So she's going to kill those who don't conform to the religion? And that won't just mean us. I wish we could do something, Nancy, but right now, we've got to stay unseen, remember? Thankfully, though, whilst we're hiding, we could take a closer look at what works in this old rust bucket. Now let's see if there's some lights in here, eh? This is beautiful. It is one of these spaceships, yes? Mm, sort of. And it's not just this room, it's also the chapel. And probably a lot more underground. Oh. Quite a lot underground. Climb over for a look at this. Quite tricky working vertically, but I'm adapting well so far. Scans suggest most of the ship's buried. Probably from thousands of years of the ground being churned up, dug and reset. Is there one of these for each village? Perhaps. I wonder if there's some method of communication. That doesn't make sense though, does it, Doctor? I mean, you said before about it crashing here. The odds that more than one ship crashed here are like the odds of a boat hitting the same iceberg as the Titanic. Unless something targeted more than one ship. 
something on this planet, perhaps? Doctor, if this ship crashed, it, it would be damaged, yes? So, why does it still work? Sorry, is that a stupid question? There's no such thing as a stupid question. Especially that one, Lexa. Because you're right. The ship, or ships, must have landed here deliberately. It almost lines up. Almost? This is a colony ship. Theoretically, human settlers would have found a planet less hazardous to live on. So let's see if I can find the flight path. Draxus? Interesting. Seems like that was their destination. It makes much more sense for them to head there. So, mystery solved then? This planet is Draxus, yes? Not quite as simple, Nancy. Here, let me bring up an image. See, the planet's green. Lush with trees and grass and all sorts of other life. Right. So the pilots were heading to that planet, Draxus, but they decided to land here instead. You're talking about another planet? N not just stars. Other worlds. <laughs> but Kyber created life on our world. This one. That may be. But that doesn't mean that some other god didn't create life on another planet. Let's see if I can find out how many ships might be here. Hello? Lexa? Kaiba, where has she gone now? Lexa? Are you here? Ah, uh, forgot about him. Could you climb down and let him know we're okay, Lexa? No. I want to know what else I have not been told. I need to know. It's okay. I'll let him know. I'm closer anyway. Aha! Here we are! This is where we are now. Nothing in the ship's log with a name for this planet, but... How do you know that you are not the one who is wrong? What do you mean? Doctor, you request to know more about our religion, our way of being, yet all you do is contradict it. You manipulate it for your ends. Blaspheming, even. I don't... Do not deny it! Because I see it in your eyes. You might put on a serious face, but your eyes laugh at us. What makes you think you can be a god amongst us? What is that noise? Well, well, well. I set the scanner to detect all ships across this planet. Look at them all. Now that's definitely against the odds. Even if this ship landed here normally, the chances of all of them coming to the wrong planet... Every time I uncover answers, I end up with more questions. Lexa, this chamber you told us about... Kyber's chamber. Yes, Kyber's chamber. Can you take us? Why? Why must you go there? Because I think I'll find my answers there. I promise I won't let you get hurt. Cross my hearts. If it is what you wish, Doctor... And I shall not stand in your way. I will take you there. Ah. Hello, you two. Getting nicely acquainted, are we? Another prophet opens a portal above me. How in the name of Kaiba can Delph, you- Delph, we've been through this. Just a door. You're still truly powerful. When Elder Leila entered, I thought we were all at the mercy of our Lord's wrath. Well, Lexa and I, at least. I is she still with you? I'm here, Delph. Thank Kaiba. Oof. The Doctor would like to be taken to Kaiba's chamber. Oh, do you know? The place Leila just called the Depiction of Death? Yes, let's go there. Sounds like it won't be dangerous at all. Uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem for Kyber's prophets, should it, Nancy? Uh, now, Delph, we'd still like to prevent attracting attention, I'm afraid. Could you escort us? As Kyber's prophets, we'll keep you safe. He wouldn't want to proclaim either of you as sinners. 
You have my word. Praise Kaiba, Prophet. I shall look outside and ensure a clear path ahead. I'll come with you. If anyone asks, I will tell them that Elder Layla showed mercy. There is no need to worry. I promise. I know you care about me. I do. Come on. Going into the jaws of death again, then. Just a normal Tuesday, I suppose. You're worried, aren't you? Under everything I seem to discover here, Nancy, there's something sinister. The planet, the religion, the spaceships, everything's connected. I just can't see how yet. And you think we'll find the answers in this cave? Well, like Lexa said, dying people go in and don't come out again. It's almost... Almost what? Familiar. The coast is clear, Doctor. Most are either working or retired for the night. We should be able to make it out of the village without detection. Excellent. Well, you've both been a great help. All that remains to do now is to go and see Kyber's chamber. Alexa, I am... I am sorry, young one. I spoke of you in my prayers and asked for a sign from Kaiba for what to do. Ah, I am afraid he believes I've been too lenient. His message was clear. I must take you to his chamber and deliver... <gasps> They have escaped. Forgive me, Lord. I have made a terrible mistake. But I will rectify this. I don't like this. I know, Alexa. It must not be easy for you being here again so soon. But it is clear he is testing our faith. We must show him we are worthy to become his angels. We need the chamber. Just a little further along this path, prophets. Ah, here we are, Kyber's chamber. Now, listen, you lot. This could be dangerous. If you choose to come, I'll do my best to keep you safe, but if you'd prefer not to take the risk, now's your chance. I can do this on my own. Don't think you're going in there without my help. What about you two? I will serve the prophets of Kaiba and complete my duty to him as long as possible. You don't have to come with us, Lexa. Any sins will be forgiven either way, I'm sure of it. I can't. Nath. Hey, it's okay. Look, wait somewhere among the trees. Somewhere hidden. You'll be safe, I promise. I will be fine. Make sure you are. I will pray for you. I shall go first, Doctor. My spear will protect us should any danger lie ahead. Lead the way. Oh, and Lexa. May Kaiba protect you. see my hands before my eyes. Watch your step, Prophet. You take me to the nicest places, Doctor. Hold on. I think I've got some torches here. Here you go. Pretty sure I've got another one in here somewhere. Ah, there we are. A tool of Kaiba himself. Look how a single candle can both defy and define the darkness. That's beautiful. Not one of yours, I take it. And Frank. Uh, oh, yeah. Spoilers. You truly are prophets of great wisdom. Is Lexa okay? 
She seemed so frightened to come in. It wasn't long ago that she was here last. Her brother, Nath. Of course. The poor girl. I have always done what I can for her. She has always been there for me, so in her hour of darkness it is right that I should return the favour and show her the light. Speaking of, what's that brightness up ahead? Out of the frying pan? Kaiba? I have seen things this night that I cannot explain from your teachings alone. These two strangers manipulate your name. Yet, still, I have faith. Because it is only now that I realize what I must be thankful for. Please, Kaiba, keep Delph safe. Let this not be his final journey like many others have taken down this cave. Please. What was that? Kaiba, forgive me. I must warn them. Doctor! Nancy! Key at all. Incredible. To have the privilege to lay my eyes on Kaiba's chamber. This is an honor indeed. Oh, this is. Delph, I need to know what you're told happens in here. What exactly are you taught? I'd have thought the prophets of Kaiba would. Just tell me! Doctor! Well, we're told that when we're in the chamber, there will be a last resting place. And the bodies, what happens to them once they're laid to rest? The ascension from man to angel means both body and soul disappear from this mortal world. Wait, the whole body just vanishes? Ah, that would be nice. A lovely alternative to the truth. Alternative? What does that mean? The alternative being that whatever was needed was taken, and the rest was thrown away. Ah. Uh, what is it? Blood. Oh my. Prophet! There's something in here! What is it? A, a creature! Kaiba brings it to punish us! Oh, that's not Kaiba's doing. It's trying to get to us. It's too fast! I can't hit it! <sighs> Take that, rodent. How's that? Nice shot, Lexa. I'm sorry. I came to warn you all. What in the name of Kaiba is it? Confirmation of my fears. You know what these things are, don't you, Doctor? I'm afraid I do. It's a cybermat. A, a Kaiba what? Cyborg creature. Composed half of metal and half of living beings. In this case, rats. The rat bone that we found in the cell. Lexa even said all the rats had disappeared. Not disappeared. Brought here. And converted. This is too dangerous for all of you. You need to get out of here right now. Hang on, you... Nancy! I mean it this time. Get back to the village, raise the alarms, and get the people onto that ship and off the planet. Its systems were rebooted thanks to us uncovering them. All that's needed is to input the liftoff codes. I've loaded them onto the Sonic here. Now, go. I'm going to take care of everything and put a stop to it. I've never seen you like this. I've got good reason to be. What is that noise? They're coming. Quickly, go! No one is safe. No one in the village? No one on this planet. Nancy, you're the only person I can trust to do this. They all need to leave. To get to safety. Nancy, please do as I say. I trust you. Of course. Will someone please tell me what in Kyber's name is happening? They're here. Who? Do not move or you will be destroyed! Cybermen. Yeah. 
You have been listening to Doctor Who, The Angels of Kyber. The Doctor was played by Miles Taylor, with Izzy Walton as Nancy Foster. Lexa, Jessica Gittins. Delph, Fraser Kelly. Layla, Emma Choi. Nath, Tyron Cameo. Krith, Philip Hawkins. Tarfell, Vicky Holding. Cyberleader, Luke Lane. Sound design and editing, Miles Taylor. Cover art, Caroline Tankersley. Writer, Joshua Carpenter. Music composer, Richard Lloyd. Theme tune, Caroline Tankersley and Simon Bowser. Produced by Miles Taylor for Tailored Vision Productions. <laughs>